in the sun. Yeah. Oh, man, that's some good stuff right there. Right. You know why? It's so Elsa. good because Chef Al right. is bringing the sunshine mm. on this oh. Wednesday morning. This is Chef Al. You guys know him. He's a friend of the show. This is a restaurateur extraordinaire, right? You've got all these famous restaurants all over the place. I love Duck Duck Goose. I do love Georgia's Chop House, although, <laughs> let me do the disclaimer. I haven't quite officially eaten here yet, but Shame I will today. On you. I will today. <laughs> Shame on you. I will today. I will today. I will today. still not over your Zip Trip appearance. <laughs> Hey. 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 What are you doing today? Uh, we're gonna do some seared scallops, some roasted corn. We got some sausage. We got some Fresno chili. Yes. We got all kinds of fun stuff. So oh, okay, that's great. Good. Okay. I used to live in Fresno, so this, this is, that's the way I like it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you see what I did? Yeah, there. I like right. it. Cool. Uh, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll be back at around 10:45. Okay. Chat with you, chop it up. Right, I'll cool. be there right after to eat. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Chef Al, yes, from Georgia's Chop House, joining us live next. We're gonna see what he's cooking up. Keep right here. Good day tonight. Back at the biz. I look in life. Somebody roll for me, please. Hey, it is smelling mm, really good in the Good Day DC Cafe this morning. Mm, mm, mm. And it's all thanks to this guy right here, Chef Ashish Alfred, aka Chef Al with Georgia's Chop House and Bethesda. Also, Duck Duck Goose. I mean, this guy's a friend to the show. You saw that our Bethesda zip trip, uh, whipping up some amazing dishes. And today you're doing it again. Good morning. Good morning. How right, are you? I'm good. Let me stand back a little bit because you've got yeah, some no, deliciousness I'm going on. What are we your making today? I'm here a little bit. Uh, we're going to do some seared scallops. We're going to yeah. do some corn sucker and a gorgeous corn puree. Now, do we find this on the menu at uh, George's? Uh, you will. It's actually brand new to the menu. Wow. Okay, so scallops, I know a lot of people are scared of it. It's very delicate. It can cook very quickly. What is the trick to making a great scallop? You know what? Scallop? We cook them on one side. We use salt. We use white pepper. We make sure we dry the scallop real well. Mm -hmm. That's the trick, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We get a nice crust on there. Okay. So scallops are searing. If you could mix that for I me, I sure can. I would and, appreciate it. And what it. am I mixing? Tell the folks out there. Uh, inside this pan, you've got a little bit of corn, some Fresno chili, a little bit of shallot, a little bit of garlic. I'm going to sprinkle and some parsley. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's You're doing all the hard work. I'm just sprinkling the pretty stuff. So on you know what? Sakatash always looks like something easy, but I find that if you don't get the right ingredients, you could turn into like a holy mess. What's your trick Correct. to making the best sakatash? Um, so never use frozen corn. Yes. Use okay. fresh corn. Cut it off the cob. You can save the cobs. They're great for like corn stock or if you're in a crab boil or something like that in summertime. Mm -hmm. Works out great for you. I love that. Okay. All so right. that came together nice. It did. Okay. Give all a right. little professional. Now look, you, you know this seems something that's uh, easy to compose, but you know you got to do this or otherwise you're going to come out with something that's burnt on one end Correct. and not flavorful on this other All end. Right. So now that I can see that we're getting some good color Ooh, on that one yeah. side, mm -hmm. we're going to be uber French and throw in a whole bunch of butter. Now, do you need that? I know we're doing it because you're obviously classically trained in the French cuisine, so butter do is... Do you need is the it? butter? Yes. Yes, butter is life. Butter is life. Butter. You're a man after my we own heart. I love Spend it. Spend a couple extra minutes on the treadmill. <laughs> make out <laughs> a significant is, other I mean, for a whole next minute. I mean, be good. Th this is living. Okay, so about how long on either side? Uh, so we only cook them on one side. Once they're done, really? once we get that good crust on one side, we'll flip them over and just give them a little kiss on the back end. And his hands are obviously blanched, which is why he can turn them with no, with no tongs, no spatula, nothing. And we'll turn nothing. the heat right off there. Okay. And now, you're only cooking on one side. Is it because it finishes on the dish? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. There's enough heat in that pan to finish and on the And what is end. this goodness you've this got going on This is a gorgeous little corn puree that we have here. Oh, corn puree. So I was not thinking this was some kind of mustard. It's not. We're going to come to the plate with our Ooh, corn puree. Okay. Corn puree goes and down. And what goes into corn puree? Corn puree is just butter and corn. Okay. And a little presentation because you eat with your eyes first. Correct. We talked about oh, that the yeah. last time we saw mm -hmm. each other. And I remembered, which is why I'm sounding like I'm so official. <laughs> and so with it, with this. Oh my gosh. Here is our corn succotash. Yeah. Make a pretty So talk about line. the menu at, at, a, at a, the Chop House. Uh, I know you're well, obviously Chop House, you're thinking meats, but you're also doing seafood. We do seafood. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing raw bar there. We have a great cocktail program. I got some bartenders that are really passionate about their drinks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've, I've really, really got a great team there. And the, George, uh, the Chop House is something so different to what other things that you find in Bethesda. Right. It's a great night out. And I did have to confess, I have not officially eaten there yet. It's not for lack of trying, but I am definitely going to try it. And Chef, I know you've given me an open invitation, so I'm definitely going to take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know where to find you if you don't come I'm up. I'm telling you. So what is this you're putting on here? So we make little twills out of squid ink and a little bit of flour. Oh. So it adds a little brininess to the dish, okay. adds some crunch to the dish. Otherwise, you have nothing but soft, soft, soft. And a little heat. We finish that with a little pickled Fresno chili. Mm -mm. And I'm going to put that right up here. All right. And, and what is this that we this finish This is what with? they pay me all the money for, all the little... <laughs> all the, Really stuff on top. It's no, just a I know. We, bit of green we talked last time. You're not just doing a Georgia's Chop House. Um, you do Duck Duck Goose. You also open up a new restaurant in, Bata in the uh, Baltimore area. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, we opened our second Duck Duck Goose in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. We're right in the heart of Fells Point. 
Um, and uh, we have Dr. Goose Bethesda, obviously, and then there's George's Chop House in Bethesda. So I'm going to invite my colleagues over. I know they're looking at this and wondering. Yeah, get over here. Get in here. Can we have a little bit of scallops? Yeah, let's do it. I, right. Only because I want to dig in it. I don't want to look like I'm hogging up the entire dish. But come on in here. Wisdom in particular, because he's he's one of our finicky, I would say. Well, I'm mad Wisdom didn't let me cook for his wedding reception. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> well, that's many not, moons ago. You know it's not too late, because I never had one. All right, cool. So I can just come. I, can just I got drink. my event Four. coordinator right here. Okay, all right, all right. right now. This is just me, me, my wife, and my kids. Yeah, for we're, you're looking for a fork. We're going to use spoons. Okay. All right. So, Wisdom, you, you do the, you do the honors first. All right. Where am I, what am I eating? Try a scallop. Yeah, right here? A little closer okay. to you guys? Yeah. You no, that's yeah. all right. I'll reach over. He's has You'll reach over? Oh, we got you. What do you mean I got long arms? Hey, I feel like I was you're a like six something, right? That was a, that was a petty intro it, right it there. Listen, I, I swear. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Watch the tie, though. Yeah, I don't want to burn myself. And I'll take this little edge right here. Am I the only one eating? Steve, you try this. Wait, trying to cut that for you? Yeah, there you there go. There we go. <laughs> that's quite the dish. Yeah, that's that's okay. Teamwork makes a dream work. There we go. All right. Okay, that's seriously. too big. I can't get all that in it. No, no, you can't. Right. Cut this it is, again. This is amazing. Because it's probably hot and it's probably going to burn my mouth. You know what I like about it? All right. There you go. So, here you go. That's for you. Oh, thanks. I like the but, brininess. <laughs> But it's, I don't oh my, know what that means, Maureen. Salty. Okay. Listen, salty. All right. Okay. Kind of like how I'm gonna be if you uh, continue this attitude. Here. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm hey, kidding. Hey, I'm kidding. I just right, I want on. you to try because you are like the touch. I am not finicky. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it too hot? No. Oh my gosh. Look at the mother of his blankie. No, it's not hot. <laughs> okay. It's good. It tastes like it tastes like a piece of fish. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, it comes like from shallow. the sea, yeah. so Chef, it makes sense for please. it to taste like this. <laughs> so you did a good job. Yeah, there you no, go. no, don't, don't. <laughs> okay. Look, I can't wait to have my wedding reception at your restaurant. Caitlin, <laughs> okay, let's get one last uh, weather word from you while right. we still have time. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Uh, it's hot out there, by the way. Uh, it's getting hot very quickly under the sun. 92 today, but we keep it dry, so no chances for any showers, which is the good news. Have some more hot into the weekend. Oh, my gosh. Chef, thank Speaking you. Speaking of hot. You're very, very good. Good job. Check them out there, Bethesda. Bon appetit.